let's do one of these awesome quizzes really okay. quick because I think we're we're building our way there, right? Yeah. So are you in a toxic friendship? So everybody listening, think about this. These are again going to be the yes or no quizzes from the book. Okay. So when you're together, do you spend most of your time competing with each other? No. See, but think about that. How do you have you I had have a friend before? Right. Yeah. Um, do you find yourself purposely doing things that bother that person? No. But if somebody is purposely bothering you, that's that, something to yeah. look at. Yeah. Do you silently cheer when something bad happens to no. them? No. Do you feel bad about yourself after spending time with them? That is a huge one. That touches on what we were talking about with good friends, where you feel good. So my answer is no, because a lot of the people in my life are really good friends. Yeah, but this is a really good thing to be aware of. Absolutely. And do you feel obligated to spend time with them even when you don't feel like it? No. So this is great. Um, the quiz about being in a toxic friendship, because I do think what we're getting at is um, sometimes you might need to walk away. Mm -hmm. And coming up next, we're going to talk to Katie Hurley, who's a social worker who's been helping us out on the show, yeah. answer some tough questions. So let's talk to Katie about the steps that we can take when it's time to break up with a friend. Katie, it's so great to have you here with us today to talk about friendships. I got some questions from my audience that kind of go a little bit more in depth about maybe the struggles that we can experience with friendships. So I will ask you some of them. The first one is, what are the signs of a friendship that can't be repaired? Well, friendships can be super complex. And something that we often forget to tell girls is that friendships can have seasons. So sometimes you're super close, super tight with a friend and everything seems right as rain and going great. And then all of a sudden it goes cold and it's like it went from summer to winter overnight. And <laughs> yeah. You don't know what happened. Right. Mm -hmm. And that can happen to adults, too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. normal for yep. this to happen at all ages. And so it's important to know that. I think in terms of having trouble repairing a friendship, I always try to err on the side of look at it as a seasonal change unless you really feel like there's no way to come back, try not to cut people off because mm. people go through hard things. Mm. And when people go through hard things, they are not at their best and they might not be acting like a really good friend, but they may come back around later on. And you might say, oh, actually I did enjoy this friendship once and, and maybe we could try again in a different mm. way. So it's just important to kind of keep that in mind when you're working through a friendship challenge. But if friends are trying to manipulate you to do or say things that you don't want to do, if they are lying to you a lot, if they are deliberately leaving you out of things and isolating you and then maybe putting those things on social media where they know you can see it, um, those mm. are all kind of signs of a friendship that needs to take a pause right now, mm. I would say. So it's really just too import important to think about how are you feeling within this friendship? Does it feel like a two-way friendship? Does yeah. it feel like a solid friendship, like there's trust and understanding? Or does it feel like you're getting left out and hurt? Because mm. if you're feeling that way, it's time to take a pause. Yeah. And and to that point, Shane, I have talked a lot in, in this episode about, uh, you know, figuring out maybe when it might be time to break up with a friend. Could you help give some language? One of the questions is, how do I actually break up with a friend? And I think sometimes our listeners want to have sort of like a sample phrase or an example of how you can do that in a way that is, you know, as kind as possible, but as clear as possible. Well, I always tell girls that we have to learn how to set boundaries early and we yeah. have to be able to do it without feeling bad about yeah. it. So if a friendship is not working out and you're feeling hurt and you are feeling left out and you're feeling isolated, it is acceptable to just be straight and to the point and say, I need space from this friendship right now. This friendship isn't working for me right now. Mm. I need a break. Do you have to give a lot of excuses or reasons why? Because I think some girls get anxious, like they're going to have to say why they want that. Or what if that person says, well, why? What did I do? Mm -hmm. Can you just go back and repeat, I really need space? Like, what would you advise? Yeah, I would say keep it short and simple. And I understand that feeling. And I think it's human to feel that way. We want to sort of pad a situation with excuses to sort of make it feel a little lighter or to have a reason, but you don't have to have a reason. Mm. You, 
you know, you're allowed to just set a boundary because that's what you need to do right now. You're allowed to say, you know what, I'm focusing on other things right now. I'm trying on some new friendships right now. Yeah. I also want to, I want to say that a lot of the time we'll feel like it's necessary to pad by saying it's okay though. I'm not mad. Like it's totally fine, but it is really important to know that we can't set those boundaries yeah. without saying it's fine because a lot of the time, the reason why it's we're not fine up with somebody <laughs> right. yeah, is because they did something that wasn't okay. Right. So I want to say it's important to do that too. 